Hello, scientists! Welcome to Draw Bow Mat. So, this tutorial, I will very quickly show you how to draw blood vessels in Graphical Abstract, and you can pair them with the tumor cell that we have drawn before in the previous tutorial. And so, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I'll very quickly draw this kind of blood vessel for you. And so, first, let's create a line, a path like that, and we will give it a color. Uh, let's give it red. And then make it thicker. Uh, that's too thick. So maybe 20. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'll make it 20. And then um, I will just uh, adjust it a little bit so it will look a little bit smoother. So to make it really smooth, I think it's better to cancel that uh, anchor point and then really put it like this. All right, and um, so that's further adjust it even a little bit more. Yeah, just um, trying to demonstrate it as close to the example as possible. And okay. And then I think I will also use a desaturated red. So um, it will not look too, uh, how do you call that, mechanical. Uh, I will explain that in uh, future videos about using colors, uh, like the saturation can make things look more natural. Okay, and so uh, then we need to create those uh, rounded uh, cross sections. So let's grab our ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. And now it looks very thick because it was uh, the, uh, in the outline fill. And if we switch it to fill, and then you'll see it is not overly thick anymore. And if we go to our color guide and then give it a uh, like a slightly brighter color, then you'll see now it looks more like a cross section surface. Uh, zoom it in and uh, just really adjust it and find a place where you can really fit it in. Okay, you see that uh, it is moving pixel by pixel. Uh, so you can actually come here to turn off snap to snap to pixels and also turn off sna uh, snap to points. So then you can move it more freely. And the computer will not calculate the location for you. It can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So yeah, move this part a little, even a little bit more smaller. Okay. And uh, the other end, we will also need a cap for it. So it will look like a rounded ending. Uh, but for this one, we need to use the same color as the, um, the vessel itself. So it will look like an ending. Uh, okay. And then Let's zoom in and uh, make a duplicate of this cross section and scale it down a little bit, then put it right back to the center, then give it a, a darker green, a darker red color. Then you will see that it started to look like a tube. Um, well, in a graphic abstract, uh, for some reason, it used a lighter color. Um, you can also do that. Uh, for me, it looks a little bit weird. Uh, this looks more like a tube to me. Um, so this will be uh, dependent on your personal preference. So this is what I prefer. Okay, and then... Um, 
So to create the three dimensionality, we can um, let's copy this vessel and then use Command F or Control F on PC to paste right on top. Then let's give the, the stroke a lighter color and make this uh, path thinner. Uh, maybe like five uh, pixel wide and then let's come to effect blur Gaussian blur and so when you see that once the, the path is blur and then it will start to look like uh, the light that you are shining on your vessels so this can create uh, the three-dimensionality that uh, you would like to have on your uh, blood vessels and here uh, what I did was I put this uh, ellipse to the back and so now uh, it will look uh, like a part of the vessel and if I just elongate this part a little bit and then you see the uh, uh, the outline is also uh, extending to the uh, extending a little bit further down uh, but then it looks a little bit unnatural so I'll put it in just a little bit more yeah Okay, so that's how you uh, draw the main vessel and how do you make these extensions. Uh, those are really simple. So also um, come to your uh, pen tool and then just start to extend these lines in and then give it the same color as your um, as your blood vessel and yeah you can draw a few more oops uh, that's uh, very long okay and then let's add on some branches um, I think the author used uh, the pencil tool here to make those branches so uh, the branches can look very very uh, twisted and interwining with each other's okay and uh, as you can see some of these uh, transitions are really sharp and and actually uh, we need to adjust all of these uh, of these uh, smaller vessels into um, smoother uh, corners. So let's come to appearance, stroke, and let's use round corner joints and uh, cap. Let's turn it into rounded caps. So, uh, okay, and I will put these here. And if you move some of your cancer cells, over your uh, blood vessels and then they will start to uh, then you will start to get this uh, uh, feeling that some of these vessels are going uh, behind your uh, cancer cells so that can create these uh, three dimensionalities and volumes All right, and here, uh, as you can see, uh, I need to put the light uh, even uh, further up. So these uh, part of our so these part of our capillaries can go into the vessels uh, seamlessly, and uh, then I also need to put these uh, this cross section on top. So just. Uh, let me do that very quickly. Then I will adjust the thickness of these capillary a little bit uh, by using this tool called the width tool. 
Uh, so if you once you uh, have the width tool, you can uh, go to your path and then adjust the width of it like that so you can make it more dynamic and I will move uh, this one over here a little bit more so it will look like it's going behind that to the front that to the front and some of the cells to the front I'll delete this one then okay and this one I'll move over here so it's con it connects better with the branch All right, um, so finally, we will add on the outline for these vessels. So it will look like a part of the graphical abstract. Um, so to do that, uh, first, let's select our um, the main vessel. Um, let me see how I can reach it. Okay, I think it is locked, so let me go to... Hmm. Okay, so I need to remove this uh, highlight part off a little bit, and then... Okay, uh, I will select the path. Control C, Control F to... Uh, make a duplication and then paste on top then use outline stroke to make an outline out of it uh, you can't really see it now but uh, if I fill the stroke with a gray and then you'll see that it has become the outline um, I will make it slightly thinner so it will look like an outline why is it a little bit dark okay that's fine and then uh, this part, let's also give it an outline. It's too thick. And this part. Um, so as for this part, uh, I will first make a duplicate of it uh, over here as a backup. And then let's select both of them and then go to Pathfinder tool and unite. So this will be the um, a part of the vessels. Then now we can move the highlight back and put the cross section part to the front. Select both, put them to the front. Okay. Then uh, let's do the branch parts. So I will select everything and group all of them and also uh, make a duplicate on the side as a backup copy. Then select the group and go to path, outline stroke. and um, unite everything and give the entire thing an outline outline stroke and then I will give it an outline and cancel the fill and then I'll give it an outline and adjust the thickness of it okay 
and uh, I will unite the entire group with Pathfinder tool and then I'll give it an outline make it thinner and so you'll see that it is a little bit awkward down here uh, that uh, doesn't really look like uh, uh, these two parts are merging together so we will do a little bit fix of that uh, so to do that let's first uh, cancel the fill out and then move our duplicate uh, vessels back and let's put the outline okay let me grab the outline first I move it move the pencil part away and then let's grab the outline and put it to the front and put our vessels at the back of it and we will move the cells that should be at the front to the front the indication is that when you cannot see the fill and then that means these cells needs to go to the front okay good once we have done that we can come here and delete these anchor points so first select the ones that you want to delete and then press delete um, okay I will keep I will keep this one like that delete okay good and then we'll do the same thing over here select delete and Okay, I will fix that part a little bit, adding plus and delete. So then you have an outline for your uh, vessels. So um, it is a little bit darker than the cancer cells, so I will make it fit well with the cancer cell by reducing the lightness of the color okay so that seems that they blend together better so uh, and I'll move these uh, backup parts to the side and then that's how you create blood vessels in your graphical abstract so uh, I hope this can help you with uh, publishing your research and if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to Drawbell Matt for more tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.